So in the previous lessons, we dealt with a single phase system, which consisted of a generator connected through a pair of wires to a load that's producing a single sinusoidal voltage. Now in today's lesson, we are going to focus on the introduction to a three-phase system. We will be looking at the various connections that we have in a three-phase system or a circuit, and also the relationship between the phase and line voltages and currents and so on and so forth. Now, if today is your first time watching this channel, do well to like this video, share this video to your friends and subscribe to the channel as well. So let's get into today's lesson. So what do you think will be a three-phase system? Now, a three-phase system is a system or circuit produced by a generator consisting of three sources having the same amplitude and frequency but out of phase with each other by 120 degrees. So representing the three source voltages in the phasor diagram, we have V1 along the horizontal axis and that's going to be the reference phasor. Now moving in the clockwise direction, we have V2 which is physically spaced from V1 by 120 degrees. And then also moving in the clockwise direction, we have V3, which is also physically spaced by 120 degrees from V2 as well as V1. Thus, the phase angle between the three source voltages is 120 degrees. Now, the phasor voltages are usually denoted as 1, 2, 3, or better still, we can have A, B, C, so that is, we have V1, V2, V3 in the clockwise direction, so we can as well have V A, V B, and also V C, we can as well have R, Y, B, that represents red, yellow, blue, so that becomes V R, V Y, and then V B. Now, if the naming is done in the clockwise direction, then we have what we call the positive, the positive phase sequence. That is if the naming is done in the clockwise direction. And with that, we have the sequence. So that is in the clockwise direction, we have A, B, C, A, B, C. So that is the positive phase sequence. Now, if the rotation is reversed, that is, we have the rotation in the anticlockwise direction, then we have what we call the negative phase sequence. Negative phase sequence. And with that, we are going to have A, C, B, a, C, B. So now moving away from that and then focusing on this phasor diagram, we have VA to be the reference voltage. So that is VA equals V sine omega T that is representing this voltage in the sinusoidal form. Moving in the clockwise direction, we have VB and then you realize that VB is physically spaced from VA by 120 degrees. Now VB is set to lag VA by 120 degrees. Hence we have the angle here to be negative 120 and we have the signal VB to be equal to V sine omega T minus 120 degrees. Now from VA and then moving in the anticlockwise direction, the angle between the two source voltages is 120 degrees and then VC is set to lead VA by 120 degrees. So we have the signal to be V sine omega T plus 120 degrees. 
Now we can as well say that VC lags VA by 240 degrees. That is 120 plus 120. So moving in the anticlockwise direction, we have 120 plus 120 and that is 240. So we can as well say that VC is equal to V sine omega t minus 240 degrees. Thus, it lacks VA by 240 degrees. So any of the two for VC is correct. Now, considering these three voltage sources, you realize that they have the same amplitude or the same magnitude, which is V. However, they are all out of phase with each other by 120 degrees. Therefore, we say that the three source voltages, that is VA, VB, and VC, are called balanced phase voltages. So they are balanced phase voltages simply because they have the same magnitude, only that they are out of phase with each other by 120 degrees. So this phaser diagram is basically a phaser diagram phaser diagram of three phase voltages. So now let's move on as we focus on the two modes of connection in a three phase system. So in a three phase system, we have two modes of connection. That is the star connection and the delta connection. So we have one, the star connection, and then two, the delta connection. So for the star connection, the star connection is made up of three windings connected at a common point. And that is called the neutral point. So we have this to be terminal A, terminal B, and terminal C. And then we have this to be the common point or the neutral point, that is N. And this neutral point is used for grounding or earthing. Now the conductors connected from the terminals ABC of the generator to its load are called lines. So we have this to be line 1, line 2, and then line 3. And we have this to be the phase voltages VA, VB, and then VC. Now considering the delta connection, the windings are connected end to end and there is no neutral point. So we have this to be terminal A, terminal B, and then terminal C. And the three windings are connected end to end. And then we have this to be line one, line two, and then line three. So in a delta network, there is no neutral point since the three windings are connected end to end. And then we have the phase voltages VA, VB, and then VC. So that's it for today's video. In the next video, we are going to focus on the relationship between the line and phase voltages and current of a three-phase system as well as considering a couple of examples.